guys welcome back to my channel so today me and Gmo we went out to eat we went to go eat at Cracker Barrel I don't know if you guys have ever been to one before but that is literally the best breakfast place so if you haven't been there before you should definitely go because it is delicious their hash brown casserole is it's amazing so today is Saturday on Thursday it was Gmo's birthday I got him two pairs of shorts from Academy and then I bought him a shot glass it's like a little boot and then I got him a massage gun oh and then I got him a new wallet because his was like starting to rip and just some shirts in a couple hours we're gonna go to top golf we were gonna go indoor skydiving today for his um, to celebrate his birthday but it's kind of expensive and we just kind of didn't really feel like doing that today so we're just gonna go to top golf and just relax and have some food and drinks and just chill but yeah i just want to show you my outfit really quick i love this hat i ordered it on amazon back if you can see it has like a little um knot right here and it's super cute super feminine and it's just like a um, like a nude slash camel color I think I also want to buy one in black too. I feel like I kind of get anxiety and like kind of get nervous to wear them out in public just because you really don't see a whole bunch of people wearing hats like this out and about and I feel like people are going to stare at me or something but I don't know I just felt like wearing it today so. So I'm wearing this cute little lock necklace. If you can see it's silver and it's just like a little lock and I believe I got this off of Amazon as well and it wasn't that expensive. If I can find it, I'll link it down below if you guys like this kind of um, jewelry. I really am liking like chains and like little dainty necklaces. This one's not very dainty, but I've been really liking that style lately. I feel like it's so cute, so in. So that, and then I'm wearing these earrings, which I think that's so cute. And then, um, of course, my ring. So beautiful. I'm blinding. I need to get it polished, though. And then I'm wearing this James Avery ring, which, if you guys watched my last video, I talked about how my whole family loves James Avery stuff. My mom got me a different ring. So my mom, she bought me this one. If you can see, with like, it has a little cross on it, and like the band is like a rope detail my mom got me that for valentine's day so thanks mom and then there's this one with two hearts on it which i absolutely love i bought this one for myself and if you do buy rings from there i suggest going up a size um because they do run small this is my outfit so this shirt is from shein it's just a white cropped shirt and then these pants are also from shein my shoes they're super cute sandals. Um, these are actually Skechers and I got them at Academy. They're super cute. And then my jacket that I'm going to wear with it. This is kind of like a jacket. Whenever it gets a little bit chilly, I'll just put these on and I'll still be super cute. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my favorite purses that I've been loving and some purses that I want to start using for the spring season because I kind of want to transition from winter to spring. So the first one I'm going to show you, this is one that I was using in my last vlog and it's this one. This one is from Guess and it's like a blue velvet and I love this color blue. It's like, um... I don't even know how to describe it like almost like a teal blue and i feel like it's super like bohemian looking but it's also like kind of glamorous at the same time which i love and i've been using this a lot recently so you can wear it like this or you can do like a cute little crossbody moment which is how i usually wear it and then i also love it because it turns into a backpack but you literally just pull these little straps down like that you could just do one little shoulder the next one i'm going to show you is this one i bought this off of shein which if you guys have not bought from shein before i highly recommend that store they have super cute super trendy clothes for affordable prices i will warn you though some of their clothes are hit or miss sometimes you're going to get something really good quality and sometimes you're going to get something that's not that good quality that's happened to me before but i mean you're paying really cheap prices for the clothes so i feel like it's kind of expected 
but anyways I bought this purse from there and I feel like all of their bags are really really nice quality but yeah super cute the next one is a Michael Kors purse and I love Michael Kors <sighs> they're just amazing so here it is it's perfect for spring and then on the side it's got like a nude color which i love okay anyways i just pulled the strap out of there and it's got just like a cute little leather um yellow leather strap and you can just do it on your shoulder that's the other purse that i'm definitely going to be using a lot this season the next one i have is a blue purse and here it is it's super duper cute i've had this for a long time actually and I think I got this at Charlotte Russe. It's like a medium, small to medium purse, and then it has a strap. And this one, you can adjust the strap and you can just wear it like that or crossbody. And I feel like a lot of the pastel colors, pastel, white, nude, neutral colors, I feel like that's all really in during this season. So I love this bag. Here's this one. This one is like a little clutch and this is from, Antonio Milani and I think I got this at Dillard's. It's like a cute little clutch Hey, hey we're almost done. Okay. We're finish this really quick okay. Are you gonna watch me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be I'm gonna put that in the video no. <laughs> Okay well. Okay, anyways, this one is super cute. It's like a cute little clutch um, and it has like black and white polka dots and then just this new patch down the middle, which I feel like that's super trendy right now, like the polka dots. I love it. I could even wear this today if I wanted to, but I'm wearing the other one. Okay, so next I have this blue Michael Kors purse, it's just like the like a powder blue color this is one of my favorite colors i love it because it has like the monogram like printed all over here and it's like a medium large kind of tote bag i feel like in like the recent years that i've been getting bags i've been wanting to get something bigger just because i feel like now that i'm like an adult i feel like i need a bigger purse even though i don't even hold that much stuff in there i don't know i just feel like as i'm getting older i want to look more mature so i feel like whenever you have a bigger bag like that it makes me feel less of a little girl more like a woman i guess but anyways i love this i think this is perfect for spring Super cute. Okay, the last bag I'm gonna show you, this one is from Kate Spade. I got this a few months ago. I feel like this bag you can wear all year round, really. I've been wearing it all of winter and now I can wear it in spring too. It's like a nude color, but it almost has like a little bit of pink undertone in it. And it's also like a tote style bag and I like it because it's like medium to large. So it's not too, too big. I'm not ready for the huge mom purse yet. I'm still young and I really don't even need this big of a bag, but it's still super cute. I just feel like super sophisticated and like a businesswoman or something whenever I use big bags like this. Those are the bags that I've been loving and that I'm definitely gonna be using. Hey guys, so we are on the way to Top Golf now. So whenever we called, they said that it was pro uh, probably gonna be like at least a two hour wait for us to get our own little booth. So hopefully when we get there, it's not gonna be more than three hours because if it is, we probably won't stay because that's gonna suck having to wait three hours. We're going to check in and then we're gonna walk around like this little shopping area probably just to kill time. And then Gmail's gonna take my pictures and have like a cute little photo shoot because I told him he needs to take my picture because I look super cute today. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you when we get there. What is it, a crossbow? Yeah. I'm doing a video. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we are at Cabela's right now, just looking around trying to kill time because it's a like a two to two and a half hour wait for us to play. So we're just here trying to kill some time and we're just looking around at different things. We're really into uh, Marvel things right now, like the Avengers. And have you guys seen WandaVision? Because that show was so amazing. We just finished watching it on Friday 
and it's so good. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it because it's so cool. And especially if you like Marvel, it's on Disney Plus. Or if you have a fire stick, you can watch it free on there, which that's what we do. We are just leaving Cabela's and we looked around for a while. The only thing we bought was fudge. So we got some, where is it? <laughs> some Rocky Road fudge. Have you guys ever been to Cabela's and like they used to have like the little fudge shop in there? That was the only thing that I wanted to find when we were in there, but they closed it because of COVID. So they're still making the fudge, but they're just packaging it and they're just like selling it just in packages. So we got Rocky Road, which is one of my favorite flavors and it's really good. We're still waiting to go play Top Golf. They're supposed to text us when our booth is ready. So we are at this cute little area. Um, I think it's called Chris Home. Chris Home something. I don't know, but it's super cute. There's like lights, there's some music, and it's like super cute to take pictures. So me and Jimo took a, a bunch of cute pictures. I'll show you in just a second. So this is what it looks like. There's like a big chessboard over there and a bunch of seating area. This is where we're sitting. And there's that bridge, if you can see, uh, over there with the lights. And then just, there's like a little waterfall. I mean, what's called like water feature. And then all those over there are just restaurants. And then, fix the lighting. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it's super cute. And then over here, there's like these steps with these cool lights and like some little shops and ice cream over there. A cute little boutique. And then over there, there's like a bunch of cool stuff. I really like it here. We're here at Top Hall. Here's our table. I'm drinking a Mai Tai. It's super nice. Okay, Gmo's hitting. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. Okay, let's see what Gmo's made up. <laughs> if he's got skills. Oh. <laughs> it went to the side. He's got zero points. Ah. Good job. <laughs> I beat him by four points. How does it feel to get beaten by a girl? I let you win. Yeah, right. <laughs> he says he let me win, but we both know that I am superior at golf. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me beat you real quick. Let's see if he was actually taking it easy on me. I don't think he was. I think I just am awesome at this game. Just kidding, I'm not. That was like actually beginner's luck. Hey guys, it is a couple days later. I forgot to close out the video. But anyways, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun vlogging. I've been really enjoying that lately. Um, if you liked that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. <laughs> Turn on your post notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want, you can follow me on any social media that I have, which are Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat. So I'm very active on my Instagram. I don't have a set routine, a set schedule of when I'm going to do videos. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just try and do one at least once a week. It's going to be a lot easier for me to stay on a schedule now because this is my last week of school. I have finals this week. You should be expecting a lot more content from me in the next coming weeks. Also, I have any of my affiliate codes for the Guardian Look sunglasses down in the description box if you do want to order some, some sunglasses from there, you can use my discount code and save 50% off. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.